This is the case of Dargan versus Dargan. You all have been married for three years, and you've got eight children together. Is that correct? Now, Ms. Dargan, for the record, you are a successful recording artist, writer, producer, and the TV star goes by the name Lil Mo. And Mr. Dargan, you are a professional boxer and an MAPing Games Gold Medalist. Is that right? Now, Ms. Dargan, you have petitioned this court because for a lie detector test to uncover the truth. Explain that, please. All right. I want to get to a certain point in our relationship, and it all go downhill. So I want to nip it in the bud right here, right now. I need clarity, and I need closure. I think we owe it to each other to just get this behind us. We dust it under the rug, but if it's going to continue to be an issue, then we got to figure this thing on out, how we can move forward. Because we are in love, but baby, <laughs> you know, what love got to do with it? Hello? Sir, hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So your woman's intuition, your God is telling you there's something amiss. When people see that you're making noise and they know that you're doing big things, they want to be a part of that. So even as much as a follow can be considered like flirting. So I just want to make sure it's just nothing extra going on and that he's just telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help him. Y'all know. So, Mr. Dargan, you're here to prove that you've been faithful to her. And what do you want to tell her? All right, so these headlines that we see, Little Mo's husband is cheating, and all of that, you're here to say that that's all false. There's no truth to them. Now, it's not a yes or no. Is it no, or is it pretty much? Some of it could be true. But you would agree with me, you can't accidentally or mistakenly fall into another woman's bed because that's... You can't accidentally or mistakenly fall into nobody's back seat either. And people don't even make it in the bed no more. If you cheat, it's going to happen where you at. And we're just making sure there ain't no happen uh, where nobody was at. Yes. Well, good question. They got time. Every couple have this issue. So they known each other actually before her first marriage in 2014, over 15 years. Yeah, that's a whole other thing, but yes. Little Mo was married before because she always wanted to, you know. She grew up in a family where her parents have been married for 40 years. All she knows is family. That's her foundation. She always wanted the family. So 15 years ago, his cousin, they tried out to book her for it. That's what everything was popping. She had the braids. She was on the scene when he tried to talk to her before because she's older to him. But I'll say eight and a half, nine years if you count one to 365 or whatever. Eight years. And they have a baby that's two years old. There was like a couple of marriages. Like that friend. I gotcha. His little mom was basically almost done. She wasn't even like, she was just like, you know. And I, so you, somebody you can lean on and we got your back. So the Ravens were playing. It was like they won a Super Bowl. So they were playing a game. But she has some cut up jeans. But her butt was out. So he gave her the pants that he had on. So off top, oh yeah, oh yeah. So basically he was selling her up top. He let her wear the pants in a relationship. But now we're an analogy. Hello. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you have the pants off your bottom. At the end of the day, fast, you know, fast forward, um, if she was going from Los Angeles to Baltimore, you can hang in there or you're just like, or do you, what do you want to do? Right. The relationships no more. And that's not cool. She's talking, honey, quiet. Because she's not trying to be funky. Because she's trying to get to point access. She's never been protected before. And when she's about to, yeah. Her happiness at the peace of this point is none of her compromise. Yeah, it was. Social media can do a lot of things. Social media cannot get a woman pregnant. Hello? That she doesn't know anything about. decir que no tenía dinero. Ahí está. Bueno, ahora olvidemos el asunto de los quebrados. Vamos a buscar la superficie del triángulo. ¿Todavía no doy cuenta? ¿Qué cosa? Digo, mi mamá me cuenta que cuando ella iba de escuela ya andaban buscando la superficie del triángulo. La encontraron hace muchísimos años. Ah, ¿y entonces para qué la vamos a buscar otra vez? Es un problema de geometría. ¿Quién me sabe decir qué es la geometría? A ver, Popis. La geometría es un libro amarillo. Lo venden en las librerías. Lo que yo pregunto es, ¿qué estudia la geometría? Nada. Los libros no estudian. Los que estudian son los alumnos. Los libros nomás se dejan de estudiar. Ay, mira, mejor siéntate. Geometría es la ciencia que estudia el espacio y las figuras o cuerpos que se pueden formar. 